Hi everybody, welcome to Art Talk Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well. So nice to see you all again. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jackie G and I'm with Gwartzman's Art Supplies here in Toronto. I'm gonna do the wave because I always forget, so, and I'll try to do it again. Thank you so much for tuning in, I really do appreciate it. For those of you that don't know us, our company has been in art materials for over 50 years here in Toronto. Our building is over now 100 years old and we've been here for 75 years. So it really is an institution. I hope if you have the opportunity to come down and say hi, I'd really like to see you and we do appreciate it. On the weekend, um, I, we did a post for Father's Day and so many of you recognized my dad and remembered all of your, all the stories that we heard about being students at OCA when it was called OCA. And so I thought today it would be nice to take you all who, if you haven't been here for a while, sort of show you what we're about and how some things haven't changed in probably over 30 years. Believe it or not, there are still some brands that we represent here and there's all always new products that have been coming in for many of you that follow us on Instagram and check out our website gwartzmans.com you can see that we've been adding products over the past well ever since COVID that we've added so many new things so it's always great to chat with you and show you what we're about we are located on Spadina Avenue between Kensington Market and Chinatown so if you're ever in the area or you're coming to Toronto stop by and say hi uh, we'd love to see you. Um, I did want to mention before we get started, and so I don't forget, we have a sale on right now. So there are a variety of discounts available in case you're looking to add something to your studio. If you're buying a gift, if you want something for yourself or a friend, there are some really good discounts available in store and online. So check it out. Some items are selling very, very quickly. And of course, when the sale is over, uh, they'll go back to regular price. I will tell you we have had price increases. So some things may be changing over the next little while. I'm really sorry. I didn't do it. It's from our suppliers and we have to go with the flow. Uh, so again, the discount is available. You'll see it on the website and in the store, and it's based on purchase amounts. We still ship all across Canada and United States, so we do have ways to connect with all of you anywhere across North America. So again, I wanted to take you on a bit of a tour, show you what we're about. Our Wi-Fi was a little wonky, and that's why we got started late. So I'm going to try and move to the front a little bit just to show you some things, and then we're going to go to the back of the store, and uh, you'll get to see a lot of very, very exciting things along the way. So just follow me, and we're going to just head back this way to a bit of the front just to show you, um, because I do like to show what our store actually looks like. We're, we're kind of narrow, but we're long and so Andrea I'm going to turn around so that we can we can do this and show you know how long our store is and it goes all the way to the back we got stuff all the way down and our we have very high ceilings so if you're ever coming in you can see some very old art posters and things like that and you can check it out for those of you that love old floors yes these are the original floors that we have we've had to do some fixing over the years but yeah these these floors if the floors could talk you know if they always say if the walls could talk uh, if the floors could talk they could tell you about all the artists that we have met over so many years and so many exciting people that uh, i've got to meet along the way so I'm not going to go through all the brands that we have because we stock every major manufacturer, uh, whether they're North American, from uh, Europe and overseas. Uh, we do have a wide range. Uh, for those of you that are oil painters, we do still stock the Daler Rowney Georgian. Uh, I think this was one of the first paints that we brought in when we started in art materials and uh, we still stock them. So if you're looking for tried and true things that we can tell you about, uh, again, this is one of our, one of our longest term products that we have here in the store. And I always like to say, you know, that to me is also showing the manufacturing quality because we haven't seen major changes in it. So that's why we keep, still keep the product around. Of course, we've got so many other brands. This wall 
uh, that we have behind me go straight across and we've had to intermix a little bit as you can see we are a, a narrow long store um, but we do keep a lot of our watercolors and oil paints all the way down this side so we're going to go to the back to this way and we'll be walking down our store and I'm certainly going to try and not turn my back on you too often just learning how to maneuver here and over the years we've added so many new brands uh, Holbein is brand new uh, Michael Harding oh my goodness the watercolors you can see this display is absolutely empty this is uh, only this is very very new display and uh, we will get it refilled very very soon so you can stay tuned for that um, you should check out the interview I did with Michael Harding. Uh, this was at a trade show that I was at in April. Um, and it was very, very interesting where he talks about his paint. I know some of you have asked why he made it into a 15 mil tube. He is not going to be making a 5 mil, but he does have a reason behind it. And so I would suggest if you're interested, uh, it was a great interview actually. I was very happy with it. Uh, check it out. It's on our IGTV and also on YouTube. Also, any of the chats that we've had, whether I've been interviewing someone or just chatting with you about art materials, you can find it through our IGTV and on YouTube, uh, which we'd love to share with you all of our information that we have. If you want to get emails, we don't send out tons of emails. We like to let you know about new product, things that are happening, you know, what's coming in, you know, all kinds of calendar of events. You can also sign up to get our email blasts and that way it also keeps you up to date on sales and any special events that we might be having here in the store. So we're going to keep walking down and you can see some of the things as I say, you know, we've got a really nice brush wall that we keep uh, adding to and changing. We've got great brands from Windsor Newton, Da Vinci, uh, Simply Simmons, um, uh, Tintoretto, I going to forget get names because that's what happens when you're filming and you get nervous. Uh, so let's just keep going on down this way and I know my staff don't want to be filmed so we're going to just try and miss them all as we go by. Uh, but as I say it's really exciting and you know we've we've added and changed our lighting over the years so that you when you see the colors you're really getting that actual pop of color. It's a very natural light now. Really good that if you want to see what you're looking at it doesn't change it. So we're going to keep walking down this way. I'm not going to go through all the brands that we have because you get to check it out. You get to see what's happening. You got to come into the store or you got to check us out online at Gwartzens.com. Sure. Uh, any thoughts on carrying Rosemary and Company brushes? Oh, I've been asked that many, many times. Um, and I have approached Rosemary several times. The problem is, is that it actually is makes it expensive for us to try and sell it here in Canada. Um, the exchange rate and the discounts aren't where we would like to be to be able to offer you the product and I do apologize because I have looked at it over the past number of years uh, and that's why we don't have them. It's not because I don't like the product uh, but it's really being able to make it affordable for a Canadian to buy it here. So we're still, you know, I'll never say no to anything and I do appreciate the question, but we're kind of on hold at the moment with that line. But we do have other great lines that you should check out and we are going to be expanding our Da Vinci uh, brushes and I do have some really cool Tintoretto brushes to show you. Uh, so yes and I will take questions while we're walking around I mean you can ask me things you can ask you know something about me I'll try and share it with you uh, as much as I will share um, but uh, in any case let's just keep going on down this way and you can just take a look and see what's what's happening here if you ever have any questions about product you can send us an email to info at gwartzens.com you can still give us a call we still answer the phone uh, you can reach out to through us to us uh, through Instagram and Facebook uh, and all the other social media we've got staff that work with that every day and so we're always ready to connect with you and tell you what's you know answer your questions so I'm going to keep coming back this way uh, we keep adding to Golden and they keep coming out with new things uh, we're kind of low in stock right now uh, we've got Holbein acrylics Holbein, we just added their water mixable oils. Those will be online only. Uh, they're coming up and the Holbein matte acrylics are new. That will be in store and online. 
coming up soon. We've got so much product that uh, our staff are having trouble keeping up with all of it. Good question for you. Sure. Uh, what are your favorite art supplies to use in your own art creation? Hmm. Um, that's a good question because I don't have a lot of time to spend uh, creating my own art. What I do like is playing and testing with product. Uh, I find pencils are easy because then I can write notes and do some sketching while I'm thinking about it. So I guess for me, pencils would be the main thing, any type of pencil. I have started trying some of our watercolors just to see how they look on paper. Um, I think that would be where I am right now, only because of, of time. But I hope you're doing a lot with whatever you have. So if you have anything to share, we always like to hear what our customers are using or if, you know, anything that you want to know about. So let's just keep going back this way. I'm not going to go through the whole pad selection because there's a lot. There's a lot of new ones. There's a lot of things that we've always had. Um, great brands that we represent like Bockingford. And I think I've mentioned before when I was much, much younger, I had the opportunity to go to the uh, St. Cuthbert's Mill and see how the paper is made. It's really, really cool. So I've seen the Saunders and the Bockingford manufacturer. We now have all kinds of Hannibal and Canson and all the name brands that you are familiar with. There's always new ones that we're looking at. In fact, there are a few that we are going to be putting out soon. We have some gorgeous uh, handmade paper from Panart in small form books that just came in. We'll probably talk about those in the next week or two because there's other things that are happening and we want to let you know about it. But today is really a focus just on us. Now, when my dad started the business, the big thing was, and, and really where we were located, the artists were moving in and looking for material. And that's originally what our business was. We were in the drapery business. So artists that moved into this neighborhood were looking for fabric and I do remember and some of you maybe do remember but I'll tell you years ago the selection wasn't as vast as what we can get now and we've always added to it so we still stock all of the cotton that goes anywhere from 36 inches up to 144 inches wide or 3 feet to 12 feet wide uh, we still stock, you know, muslin that a lot of you use for sewing patterns and things like that. We have the linens that we always had. Uh, the only thing we don't have now is silk, but that was that's an, another story and from a, a long time ago. But getting back to the two types that we used to get asked for years ago, it used to be blue line and red line. And if you had five foot wide canvas, the weights were... Uh, identified by either a, a very thin blue line that went up the side or the seam of the canvas and same thing with the red. That brings back a lot of memories but as again now they don't do that but we do have the different weights and ounces like 10 ounce and 12 ounce and I think we've got a 6 ounce which is very very heavy. I did want to show you some canvases that my staff put away so I'm just going to grab a couple things that I wanted to show you um, to let you know that you know we still stock the same manufacturing that we've done for years this is the same brand of canvas made here in Canada that we've had for over 30 years um, I'm not uh, ashamed to talk about it because I think our quality is excellent and I always like to show what you know when I'm looking at a painting and I'm sorry about turning my back on you I like to show what the quality is and it's not only the front that you want to see where the quality is you want to see the back and you know when I look at this I know that this is really well braced um, I'm not going to have issues with it it's got everything it's set up for painting and I did have a very large wood panel which I'm going to grab right here because then we're going to head to the front again but again with this wood panel to me the beauty is also in the back of it and look how well that's braced I mean you don't want something in the center where when you're going to put a lot of product on it or pressure that you're going to get buckling and these have great great braces here and all the large ones are like that we had a five foot by five foot oh my goodness the number of braces in it it was a thing of beauty I, I can't even tell you how great it looked but we've always sold a lot of sizes in canvas we will do special orders minimum are usually now about six um, and we still can do that we've narrowed the line a little bit but I'm still so pleased with the quality of the product that we carry we also got in which 
is not out here, uh, a lot of it, so I can't really show you. But Ampersand, for those of you that are fans of Ampersand product, uh, in the store, we're still getting them ready to put out. We have a ton of product that we brought in. Uh, they were so great to meet and work with when I was at our trade show in April. Uh, so this is going to be really exciting because, as I say, we've really added to it. It will be available online and in the store. We still have prime linen from Old Holland, you know, if you're looking for the stretched. Uh, there's still, I'm always looking for a new product. And, you know, it's great because being an independent, we can get, we get to choose what we want to carry for you. And I will tell you, I, we've gotten so many requests for product. And that's why, like the, asking about the rosemary brushes, that's why we also add to our line because we get customer requests. And we, we do appreciate when you ask for something that's new on the market. Maybe it's something that I haven't seen, although I'll tell you, I spend a lot of my waking hours either online and uh, Instagram and searching all over the place for new product. A lot of brands you're still not familiar with, which are still coming out. Uh, so we're going to make our way to the front because I have some exciting news to show you and some really great stuff. If you have any questions while I'm still chatting, and again, don't forget, any a lot of the stuff that you see right now that we've been pointing out is on sale. The sale ends midnight Thursday. So if you're still thinking about it, the discount goes up to 25% off. So we can show you the signs here. Uh, this is exactly what it is. It ends midnight on Thursday. So if you're looking for a good deal on something that you've been thinking about, it's a good time to take a look at it, except for Michael Harding, and you have to pick the color that we have in stock. Also, we are updating the website. Very, very exciting. I'm, I'm so excited about it. It's going to take a bit of time because we want to make sure that there's no glitches when things change, but you'll be able to see more color swatches. You'll be able to see the inventory. It'll be, it's great for all of us. So I'm going to keep moving up this way, and if, as I say, if you have any questions, uh, comments um, there's always uh, you know me I've always got too much to tell you about art materials and what's happening here in the store if you're ever into you know if you're doing any paperwork or if you're doing a lot of cutting we have a vast amount of cutters which I don't think get as much play as um, I think everyone would like from Excel and Olfa and Fiskars uh, they're really amazing we've truly expanded the line because I wanted to be available for cosplayers, for jewelry, for crafting, uh, for paper makers, collage, whatever you can think of. We do carry product for left-handed uh, customers, so you can take a look at that. There are some also if you have uh, dexterity or issues in holding certain products. There's so many new handles that we have for things. There's something for everyone. So, we're going to go this way because now I get to show you what we are launching today. And I'll tell you, it's very, very exciting. Um, this is uh, requests and me seeing it online, and I couldn't wait to get it in. We had to hold off for a little bit until things were ready, and it is going up today. So, are we good uh, to go here, Andrea? Okay, so I'm going to walk around so I can show you. So you'll excuse me for a minute because I'm probably going to get out of the camera for a second and go up this way. And, you know, there's always something to see and something to look at. And I'm now back in my usual location. Hello again, uh, location. And so here it is. Today we are launching A Gala Watercolors. Uh, this is very, very exciting for us. Um, we've had so many chats with them over the past little while, and I get to show you some of the sets. Um, I will tell you they are being launched today. They are not part of our sale. Uh, these are at great pricing, but these are not going to be on sale. So if you're interested, uh, I'm not. this is just the way it is. This is what you're going to see. So, I do have one to unbox as well because this to me was very special. And I wanted to tell you, I'm sure you've seen online about this brand, uh, A Gallo. They're made in Assisi, Italy. Um, they use a lot of natural pigments and their whole idea was to make things so that they were more environmentally friendly as well. So they don't contain any mercury or lead or anything that we would consider a toxic material. Uh, we'll be doing a whole splash about them. I will tell you we are speaking to Alina from A Gallo and she will be a guest 
best for a live uh, in the next few weeks. We're just trying to make sure that we can give you enough time so you can prepare any questions that you might have and we'll let you know about it. So I'm going to do some uh, unboxing to show you some of these sets. I did want to also show you, and I'm sure a lot of you know, these are wrapped in a handmade paper. Uh, this is all made in Florence. So they buy these sheets and they cut them to fit their sets. And the patterns, I think, vary because the sheets are all so different. So I'm going to start pulling it out. There we go. And this set, they don't put the label, so it's on the bottom for me. And this is called the Natural 24 set. And I'm just going to open it up. So you do get a sheet. So this shows you all of the colors that come in the set. Now these spaces are made so that you can do a swatch when you open it up. And so you'll get to know where your colors are and what they look like when they dry. And I'm just going to then open up this other half of the set. And that is the natural set. So it is quite beautiful, all natural colors. You can see that some of them have granulation. Uh, really, really quite beautiful. And that is a set of 24. And then we're going to, this I believe is the natural. Oh, no, this is not. This is the signature set, signature two set. There you go, same idea that you get the room to swatch it. And this is a set of 12. And then we've got show you here this one comes off as well this one is the natural three and I believe this is one of the newest ones these colors also are honey based and all handmade I know that you've seen online where she does her launches uh, when she has a new palette coming up uh, so they they do really give you beautiful ranges there's always a reason behind them and then I'm going to move to this one There's another gorgeous set. Look at those pinks and purples in there. Really, really beautiful. And of course, we've got the signature. This is their classic uh, six set. So it gives you a set of small pans, set of six. Again, you've got the swatching uh, space for your set. And that's to get you started and introduce you to all of their colors. Right now, we don't have the individuals. We are launching strictly the sets. Um, but we do have quite a choice. Now, this one I wanted to show you just because it is so different. And we're going to do an unboxing. So when you get your set, this is how they come in this actual box. So I'm just going to open it here and show you. Beautifully wrapped in this tissue. And I want to make sure that I do it all properly. So I'm not going to open this because some lucky person will one day want this set. I'm going to slide it out. And this is the Sinopia set. And what I liked about this was these are all classic colors. So they've, I'll show you what it looks like because it is quite different. So that's the set there. And these are all very traditional Italian colors. Uh, they put them into a set. So I thought that was kind of neat because not only does it work well with any painter, so adding it to your line, but also if you do urban sketching, because these are all, you know, soft muted colors that I've seen in a lot of what urban sketchers have used. Uh, so I thought it would be quite an interesting set for us to have. So I just wanted to show you that one because that was kind of an extra special one. So I'm just going to move some of these things around. And of course, we'll have to put these all away after. I had one more thing I wanted to share with you. And, it, and I know this is just ah, so exciting. You'll all be getting it. If you sign up for our email blast, you get an email about it. It's going to be on Instagram. Um, very, very exciting for us. And I know you all love to see all the new products that we get in all the time. We've also got out here some new Tintoretto brushes. These are not online yet. Uh, we're still getting them ready. So this is their new Velvet series. We've brought in the full line. This is imitation um, um, goat hair. Uh, so again, like a lot of the other ones that you've loved, like this particular beautiful wash brush, uh, we now have this one that we've added to the line. Uh, we did also add, sorry, Andrea, that we, we set them up this way. Um, all of these great, this is imitation squirrel. Uh, again, you've got the brass so that it's attached this, this way and glued in. 
Uh, this is part, I believe, of the Felt Feltraco series, uh, based on an artist's request. So they're absolutely beautiful, and I will do some um, uh, testing to show you in another uh, video of all of how these brushes look when you get them really nice and full and wet, and then put them down on paper, because they will look just like that. Uh, so someone's asking, do you also come with Tintoretto brushes? Uh, yeah, these are sent to us um, just so that we can show them off and sample them. And yes, they do include a Tintoretto brush. And someone's asking if the A Gallo are hand-filled pans. Yes, they are hand-filled. Yes. It's... Um, and as I say, I, I never like to, um, when I don't have everything written down in front of me, and it is, again, a small business that uh, is manufacturing it. They have a small team that they work with. But I think if you tune in when I'm talking to Alina from the company, you'll see what they're about and get to know everything. And you can ask them questions, too. Uh, it's it's really great when I have lots of conversations with them, but then you, when you get to meet them as well. Are there any other uh, questions? Not currently. Okay. Well, I think, I hope I've dazzled you today. I, I hope you get to see the great place that I love to call my second home. Uh, I, it's a very comfortable place here, and uh, we always look forward to showing you what's new in art materials. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to our customer service. We can answer it. Please follow us on Instagram. Let us know what you think. Uh, I look forward to sharing with you again next week something new and exciting. There's always something new and exciting. Oh, and I for, did forget, you see, that's why I have other people <laughs> around me. Next Tuesday is a guest. Uh, we're going to be talking to Keith and Kyle from Yugo. Any of you that are interested in the New Wave or Yugo product, uh, we are going to be live with them to talk about Plan Air and all of their products. They make an amazing line of Plan Air product, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We've talked to them before. Uh, so that's next Tuesday. And then, of course, we'll keep you abreast of anything else that's happening. Ah, we have another question. Uh, when will the sets be online? Today. I believe they're being launched today. Right yes. Now. Yeah, right now, apparently. Oh, so you got to go check it out. I'm going to have to go check it out. I want to see how great they look. I mean, they look amazing here. So until next week, don't forget, about 12 p.m. next, actually it will be at 12 p.m. next week, short of any technical difficulties, we'll be talking to you go New Wave, and uh, we'll let you know what else is happening. So have a great week, and please keep on creating. Bye-bye for now.